24-7 comfort on call. Hello, Brad. We are all eagerly awaiting part two. On Monday's solar eclipse. So just to uh, recap, we will not see a total eclipse here. It'll run from Texas through Maine, but we're north of the track. So here it will be viewed as a partial solar eclipse. And notice that those of you south, closer to the track of totality, will see less of the sun mm -hmm. at, at midpoint there. And those of you north will see a little bit more sun. So just bear that in mind as we continue on here. I have a timeline for you so you can plan ahead, okay? First of all, the partial eclipse begins at 12.54. 54. If you they have wanted. it right down to the second? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is, the this is the moment the edge of the moon just touches the edge of the sun. So it's just starting. Maximum eclipse. This is the when you really want to see. This sure. is what you're waiting for. Roughly right around 209, a minute sooner south, a minute later north. This is when the sun is most hidden. And then at 321, excuse me, the partial eclipse will end. This is when the edge of the moon leaves the edge of the sun. So this is a... Uh, it's fairly long, two hours and 27 minutes from start to finish. But I want to show you this because I done this animation oh. with a little clock for you. Okay, so this is how it will look from here in northeastern Wisconsin. So Take a really up, good look at this, by the way. <laughs> so notice like right around 138, about half of the sun will already be covered. Okay, now we're going to move up to the maximum amount of eclipse right there at 209. And then the moon will continue to move over the disk of the sun. There's 237, still about... 50% of the moon covered, and then we'll take you all the way to the very end at 321. So there is what you will see in fast forward fashion. And okay? even need glasses for that one. Correct. Now, here's the problem, <laughs> the weather forecast. This is from NOAA. They updated this, I think it was 10 o'clock this morning. This is the national scene of what the weather will be. The timing could not be more horrible because much of next week, starting Monday, actually starting Sunday, we've got another major system moving across the nation. And notice, here's that path of totality <laughs> and almost the entire track except the far northeast and maybe some breaks there across southern portions of Illinois. So it's not looking all that favorable really across the country. <laughs> How about here? Our forecast for Monday for northeastern Wisconsin, variable clouds, slight chance of a shower, low 50s and east wind at 12. But notice your sky cover, probably about 90%. I know this is very disheartening. However, don't laugh yet, Chris, because... I just have a voice ringing in my head right now. I want to show you this, because okay. the same thing happened back on October 14th of last year when we had a partial eclipse visible here. It was overcast, there were on and off showers, but I managed to snap these pictures because there may be intervals where the clouds thin or occasionally break. So maybe we'll still get, get a chance. some imagery. And, I just, and again, it's still four days away. Sure. Things might change. Right. But. I just remember the immortal words of former Packers special teams corner Ron Zook. It's not a problem until it's a problem, and then it's a big problem. Correct. That forecast <laughs> looked like a big problem. Yeah. All right, Brad, thanks okay. so much. Have a great weekend. We'll see you.